I'm just like, geez, Louise, who does Jarrell Miller want to actually fight, man? You know, we back. It's the Boxing Clinic of Moore. It's your boy CJ Goodfella back with some more Doug Chronicles. And we talk about Jarrell Miller and uh, Andy Ruiz called him out. He beat Kevin Johnson this weekend. And uh, we know Jarrell Miller's been reported that he won't go to Bulgaria to fight Puev. And he didn't have enough money behind him for some heavy, well, one of the few heavyweights quote unquote to have a network deal. He couldn't get a fight uh he couldn't win a purse bid to keep it in America. So he's gonna pass up a WBO um mandatory shot or title eliminator with uh Brosworth Puev, you know. And then, you know, they uh Blue Blood or somebody when Blue Blood Sports asked him about Wilder, oh not right now when the time I mean, you know, obviously he could be waiting on on, on Anthony Joshua. But let's see what uh Andy Ruiz Junior, the destroyer you know, uh, said to him on Instagram, what was his rebuttal? Andy Ruiz, or Andy Destroyer 13, let's make it happen, bro. We will give the fans a good fight. I just fought and back in the gym now. I will be ready by September. Let's get it. My boy was up, you know. Uh, Miller, here we go again. He, uh, uh, went back on Instagram and rebuttal. Before, when you was ahead on the rankings, you and your team uh, paid me no mind and ignored me. Now you, <laughs> now you have lost, and I'm, uh, I'm ahead of you waiting on my mandatory. Sorry, my Mexican brother, you bring nothing to the table, no belts, no mandatory, and more than likely no money. I'm on to bigger things right now, but when the time does come, I will be more than happy to spank that ass Taco Bell style. <laughs> Somebody say burritos for dinner. I laugh out loud. Not yet. So basically he's saying that, uh, you know, he wanted to fight Andy, you know, but Andy team didn't pay no mind. And when he got a loss to Joseph Parker, you know, now, now he's saying that after that loss to Parker, that, uh, Miller saying he ahead on, 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 in the rankings and, uh, he don't need Ruiz and Ruiz when he didn't, when, when, uh, he needed Ruiz, Ruiz didn't want to, uh, they want to oblige and they want to dance with him. So I definitely could feel him on there. But at the end of the day, he just, you know, you just look again. He telling somebody like, like Miller is the A side, man. Apparently, dog, your handlers don't believe in you to put money up on you in a purse bid. You didn't even challenge the purse bid. All right. You ain't beat nobody. You ain't been in the ring with nobody for real. Why does he and Miller keep ducking opportunities? That the fans want to see. Here goes another perfect, uh, a perfect example of a fighter talking about, oh, let's wait and let it marinate. What you waiting on? What mandatory do you got unless you're going to fight Puev? You know, I understand they say him and Puev is still chopping it up, but if he don't fight Puev, man, for a mandatory, what mandatory is he talking about? Because he ain't ranked in the WBC. All right? He ain't the number one guy in the WBO, even at the Pavekin, I don't believe. He not the number two guy, three guy at the perfecting in the WBA. And obviously he just he may give up a WBO title eliminator versus Puev. So at the end of the day, what what I mean, what mandatory do he got? You know, what shot to the shot to the title he got? He think because, you know, he worked with Eddie Hearn and HB, he got an HBO deal that he doing something. But contrary to what you believe, you and Danny Jacobs couldn't even you barely fill half of the Barclays Center. And the week before that, Adrian Broner filled that bitch up with Javante Tank Davis and Jamal Charlo, which none of them guys is from Brooklyn. And Brooklyn came out and damn near sold out the joint. I was there. So when is Big Baby Miller actually going to fight somebody, man? Why does he act like he the A-side in every situation? Because he's from New York? Baby, this ain't this ain't 90s, dog. This ain't where, where Riddick Bowe and Mike Tyson from New York walking around, you know, in boxing. You ain't, you ain't them. You know, he he on his high horse like like a like a rich white woman, you know, shopping at Bloomingdale's. You know what I'm saying? He on his high horse like he's somebody. Dude, ain't nobody checking for Baby Miller. Everybody think you stank in that ring, man. And when you get to sweat, and it probably smell like old Crisco grease. Ain't nobody checking for Big Baby Miller. If you weren't in the heavyweight division, it wouldn't make no difference. You know, we want we want to see more weight in the ring than we ever seen in the ring between you and Andy Ruiz, man. We want to see if the ring can actually handle two big, big, big heavyweights in the ring. 
We want to see some thunder. At the end, of, at the end of the day, I'm not telling you to turn, not to turn the other cheek. But at the end of the day, who else is you gonna fight? Seriously, who who is Big Baby you gonna fight? Talking about mandatory. If you ain't gonna fight Pueb, ain't no mandatory. You ain't trying to fight Wilder. So he basically waiting around for a Joshua fight, believing Eddie Hearn, saying that he self promoted himself, but he's still working with Eddie Hearn behind the scenes. Well, I pay myself. I promote myself. Well, why didn't you pay yourself to win a purse bid, family? I'm tired of Big Baby Miller ducking out of fights and ducking and dodging like Craig and Dodo. You know, we, I'm tired of it, man. He he going around acting like he's somebody. I am somebody. P -p Professor Clump ass. Yes, I can. Yeah, yes, you can duck. You know what I'm saying? He he, biggest duck in the game, literally and figuratively, damn near. You know, this is unacceptable. Why not fight Andy Ruiz? Who you got on deck? You going to Bulgaria? You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to Bulgaria, man. He going to fight another old washed-up fighter and try to wait for Anthony Joshua. You know, 300-something pounds that can't crack an egg. You know, they, they should put a... Hey, they should put him in 8-ounce gloves, and I bet his fat ass still couldn't punch, man. But y'all know what it is, man. It's the Boxing Clinic and more, man. Dropping that heat. Don't forget, we got the new college sports page popping off. Me, the Cali Enigma, and Colossal Sports TV. S1210, College Sports Most Wanted. The link in the description. Find the Boxing Clinic on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Those links in the description as well. You know, also, business email for business collaborations and business uses only. You know, hit me up there. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon, you know. Hit that bell icon and don't forget to subscribe to my brother, the Cali Enigma. Let's get him to a thousand subscribers. Check out his sports uh, channel. He talk a lot of boxing and a lot of other sports. Very knowledgeable brother. Had him on the show before. But y'all know what it is, man. And his his channel link going to be in the description. So subscribe to Cali. One time for the one time. We gone.